What's up, bro? What are you up to today? Well, you know, just getting ready to hit some quads. I got squats first. Oh, nice, man. Are you trying to, like, grow your quads or something? Yeah, man, I'm getting ready to do a set. Why don't you tell me how this technique looks? Isn't that the best quad building squat you've done ever seen? Your squats look like this. Please, stop squatting like this. Stop it. Get some help. Thinking that a low bar back squat is going to get you really developed quads is like thinking that driving a Prius at 100 miles an hour on the interstate is going to make you a NASCAR driver. All you're doing is prohibiting as many gains as you can actually achieve. So join me in this video in an all-inclusive look of how to use foot placement and exercises to get the best quad development for you. So, what do they do? Main focus is they're gonna straighten the knee from a bent position, and they're also gonna control the bend of the knee. The quadricep consists of four muscles, that being your vastus intermedius, your vastus medialis, and your vastus lateralis, and the rectus femoris, which will actually cross the hip and will flex the hip as well. Now, all four of these muscles will straighten the knee, but the vastus muscle group is going to straighten the knee and have the highest EMG activity, while the rectus femoris is also going to bend the hip up. The first exercise that I want to talk about is this heel elevated front squat and the heel elevated back squat. If you think you have a strong squat and you really want to humble yourself, go ahead and try this exercise. I love this one because you can really get those knees over the toes and create a greater moment arm on the quadriceps, thus putting more torque on the quads and getting a much greater growth and hypertrophy stimulus. So like I said, when it comes to getting more quad development, you want the knees to track out further over the toes during your squats. That's gonna create a greater moment arm on the quadriceps and it's gonna cause more of a stimulus on those quads. Then you wanna possibly elevate the heels. Elevating the heels will allow those knees to travel much further out because you're actually aligning yourself in a little bit of plantar flexion. So it gives you more degrees of dorsiflexion, thus allowing those knees to travel further out, thus giving you better quad development. Then slow eccentrics. Slow eccentrics are going to cause more muscular damage and put more of a stimulus on the quads to make them grow. So really slow your reps down and really focus on getting that full range of motion and that full deep knee bend all the way up to that full knee straight. Then your foot placement, the closer your feet are together and your toes are pointed forward, the more you're going to be forcing yourself to let those knees track over the toes and giving yourself more of that quad development. If you spread your feet apart and turn your toes out, you're gonna get more adductor development. So keep those feet really close together in your squats, leg press, um, hack squats, or anything else where, you do, where you're doing squats, and let those knees really track out forward over the toes. So here on the squat press, you'll see my feet are very close together, and I'm letting those knees track out over the toes every single time, getting that full knee bend. This is, here's the uh, hack squat, or STS squat. See my feet are very close together, letting those knees drive out forward, and really putting a lot of tension on those quads nice and slow on the way down. And feel free to adjust your feet some just to kind of see what feels good and best for you. Then hack squat. Feet close together, toes going forward. So whenever you're doing hack squats, pendulum squats, STS squats, squat press, front squat, back squat, step up or step down, cross sack squats, single leg squats, needle wall, sissy squats, Spanish squats, reverse Nordics, or any sort of squats or quad development exercise, implement these tips to help you get more quad development and quad growth. And as always, thank you for watching. I hope you found this video informational. If you liked the video, please subscribe, comment, and like the video. Find me on my social media pages left in the description, and contact me for all your programming and training needs. Thanks, and have a great day.